Hello again, well it's Miss Raji Stuff back in the workshop again with this uh, homemade gramophone sound box or reproducer that I've been playing with and I've built a couple of these things. This is my latest design. Um, it's designed so that, uh, well I say designed, um, it has the ability to allow the uh, diaphragm to be changed fairly easily and in my last video I showed three different sorts of plastic. Um, those three there. Now um, what I've also promised to do is try some metal diaphragms and uh, I've made some here. These are the three that I've made. Now this one here is actually uh, the bottom of a Pringles can so it's magnetic because it's uh, still. That's the sort of thing I used. And uh, it was just a case of uh, cutting out the diaphragm um, using some tin snips. Uh, in fact, I just drew around one of these ones. I think I, I, I used this one here and just used it as a template. Um, now the other ones that I made, this one here is copper. So I use um, some sheet copper that I have. I was very fortunate some years ago to find a whole pack of this stuff at a car boot sale. So um, that's a copper one. And then the last one um, is aluminium. Now, uh, Chris from All My 78s um, keeps mentioning pie trays. Um, I don't think he's the only person who's mentioned them, but uh, he certainly wants to hear what a pie tray uh, sounds like. So I ordered some pie trays. Well, I ordered these trays anyway, a whole pack of them because I had nice flat bottoms um, and uh, I thought that would be suitable to uh, cut diaphragms out of and um, it's just a case sort of cutting the centre out and then just marking marking it out on, on, the, um, on the aluminium and cutting round again I think with tin snips I might even have used um, ordinary scissors for that one but anyway I've got uh, three different sorts of metal diaphragm which I'm going to fit into this sound box here and uh, test on one of my HMV162 gramophones just like I've done before and see what they sound like. Oh! 
Well I think they all sounded pretty good, however like the previous plastics test, one of the three is noticeably different when looking at the waveforms. This might be to do with the weight or thickness of the diaphragms, the aluminium one I'm sure is the most flexible. Like in the plastics test, I tightened up the nuts the same amount, so the thickest diaphragms would have compressed the gaskets most. So let's listen to the same short section with each of them. And just for comparison, here is the same section with the plastic diaphragms. Okay, so what do you think? I'd be very grateful for your feedback and comments. I have some more ideas for diaphragms and sound boxes and ways to test them. I also hope to test a mica diaphragm soon. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff. Thank you.